Yo guys, what is going on and welcome back to the channel. In today's GT Online video, I'm going to be showing you guys the new fastest car in the game. But before we get straight into the video, let's try and hit 5 likes as it shows your support for my channal. And without any further ado, let's jump straight into it. So to actually find this vehicle guys, all that you have to do is pull up your phone and then go to the internet tab. Once the internet loads up on your phone, you guys want to go over to the Southern San Andreas Super Autos website. When you guys get onto this website, you just want to scroll down a little bit. And then sort of near the top, you guys are going to see the Karen Coleco GTF. I do believe this vehicle is a sports car, so in reality it is going to be quite fast, but with this little trick I'm going to show you guys coming up in the video, it makes this car super fast. You guys can either buy this vehicle for around $1.9 million, or you guys can get the trade price, which is going to be around $1.5 million. Now obviously I already have the vehicle as I'm driving it around right now, but once you guys get it, you guys want to take it over to the LS Car Meet, and then just drive it straight inside. When you guys load into the LS Car Meet, you're going to have this option where you can show your vehicle options. Go ahead and press that and then we're going to be greeted with some more options here and we want to press right on the d-pad to mod our vehicle. Once we're in this little mod shop area, I would probably recommend adding the turbo and the majority of the other upgrades to this vehicle as it'll only make it a little bit more faster. Once you guys are happy with that, you guys want to go down to the suspension tab and make sure you guys choose the competition suspension. Now I'm not too sure if it can work with the other suspensions, for example the lowered suspension, but I just go with the competition suspension because I think it works the best. After you guys have got that, you want to go down to the wheel section, go down to tyres and then tyre enhancements. Now once we've clicked into this, as you can see we have standard tyres, low grip tyres and finally the bulletproof tyres. We're going to be selecting the low grip tyres. Now as you can see on that little stat bar, it does take all of our traction nearly away from this vehicle. And just keep in mind that you guys won't have the bulletproof tyres when you actually select this option. But it's definitely worthwhile to actually get the fastest speed in the game. So once we've got the low grip tyres on our vehicle, we're just going to back out of the mod shop. And then after that, we're going to back out of the LS car meet as well. Now once you guys load in outside of the LS car meet, you guys want to open up your interaction menu. From here, go down to the vehicles options and then scroll down even further to the vehicle stance option. As you can see, this messes around with our suspension of the vehicle. We can have it as default or lowered. All that you guys want to do is make sure that this option is lowered and not default. Now, if you guys drive in a straight line, you will notice how fast you actually go here. Also, if you guys go in first person, you will actually see how fast you're going as well. Now, I did notice something really weird when I was actually testing this out. When you guys are actually driving this vehicle in a straight line at the airport, it only seems to get up to around 140 miles an hour. However, if you are driving this on the road and you're going in a straight line as well, you actually will get capped out at around 180 or something ridiculous like that. If you guys do end up buying this vehicle and doing the same thing what I did, and testing it out at the airport let me know how fast you guys go because it does seem like there is a bit of a difference here i'm also not too sure if you guys can use this in races or not if you actually can use this in races then it will be hard to actually control because it's that fast and having the low grip tires on when the vehicle is going that fast it doesn't really help with anything you will have to slow down when taking any corner but that is it guys that is now the fastest vehicle in the game obviously this is more of a bug or a glitch but i would definitely recommend that you guys try it out for yourself before it does maybe get patched if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like, and if you are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe and turn on post notifications so that you never miss an upload. Finally, stay safe and thanks for watching.